folks, Marcus here from the Ash and Fly Shop. Today we're out here on the banks of the road. Um, I was just out casting some rods and rigged up my favorite trout spay rod, the Sage Trout Spay HD 4 weight. Um, I wanted to take a little time to talk about sink tips for trout spay rods and how we think about them in the shop and the tips that we've found that work the best on these. So if you watched my review on this rod, you're probably familiar with how much I like the Scandi body line on there. Um, I like the length of it. I like the taper of it. And let's just start with that line and the sink tips that I like to use with that line. So my favorite tips to cast on the Scandi body line are a series of tips that are called light scandy versaliters from rio and like the old spay versaliters these are a 10 foot taper leader that's dipped in a sinking material and they weigh 35 grains so they're really light really easy to turn over on these rods um, they have a taper to them which is nice for turning over flies and they come in a floating 1.5 inch per second three inch per second and five inch per second. And for, for most of my fishing um, that I'm doing these days with my trout spay, the three and the five inch per second are just really nice. Honestly, the, the three inch per second lives on there most of the time. Um, but you have a range of versatility in those tips with the floating or um, intermediate tip being a really good soft tackle tip. And then you can get down with a little bugger if you need. Kind of a, a light option off of a Scandi body, you can just use a 12 foot monofilament tapered leader. We prefer the steelhead ones um, in the eight pound. They're a stiffer monofilament material, so they turn over flies better. And that's just a really nice kind of light presentation um, fishing right up next near to the surface if you want to try to skate a dry fly with your trout spay or something like that. The monofilament leaders are really nice. Going into something that puts a little bit more load on the rod, but can still be achieved on a Scandi body. We'd start to talk about Rio's Spay Versaliters. Um, and like the light Scandi Versaliters, these are a tapered monofilament leader that gets dipped in a sinking material and they weigh approximately 75 grains. So they'll put a little bit more load on the rod if you're trying to turn over a little bit bigger fly on your Scandi body, that would be a nice, nice option there. If you're more of an airflow person, um, using a, a tip like their poly leader would be a really nice option. They, like Rio and their Spay Versaliters, have a pretty wide range of sink rates from clear floating all the way down to about seven inches per second. And these, Salmon steelhead polys are built on a 24 pound core, just like the Rio version. And I, I recommend that for a lot of this trout space purpose. Um, I think that heavier core is gonna give them a little weight, which is nice. It loads the rod. And then the other thing that it will do, it just gives you added security when you're fighting fish. One thing that I think about sink tips on trout spays is we should have a distinction between the tips that we're going to put on a Scandi body type line or a Scandi line and then the tips that we're going to put on a Skagit line. So one of our favorite heads for these trout spay rods, I don't have the box here, but it's the Airflow Skagit Scout um, on this four weight, the 390 or 330 is just a really powerful line on there and that if you're looking to streamer fish with these rods and you're trying to maximize the load of the rod and get sink tips on there, which sink a little quicker, you'll really be looking at a Skagit line. Um, so that's when you could start to phase out your light Scandi Versaliters and you could almost exclusively cast, you know, Spay Versaliters on your Skagit line, which would be a little heavier, a little more load. One set of tips that we really like on Skagit lines for these rods are Rio's Mo tips. And 
in that I would probably stick on well, most of your trout spay rods, I'd probably stick with the light most. But within there, you get the option to have seven and a half feet of T8 or five feet of T8. And that's, that's also a nice versatile option, just controlling that sink rate a little bit. Um, personally, I like the way of just a uniform 10 foot sink tip casts a little more than a no tip, but it is a nice option and they are really versatile and useful on your Skagit lines. Another really good tip option that's a little bit lesser known is Rio's 10 foot replacement tips. And there's, there's a couple really nice things about these sink tips. So the replacement tips are really nice because you get that choice between grain weights as you step up in weight and you get to choose how much load you're putting on the rod. But at the same time, you can choose your sink rate in between there too. So if you really want to fine tune how much load is going on the rod, Rio's 10 foot replacement tips are a really good option. So now that we've covered all the sink tips that we really enjoy using on our trout spays and recommend, um, it's worth pointing out the type of tips that aren't so fun to cast on here. And, and those are the full tungsten material, 10 foot and 12 and a half foot mo tips from Rio. And the reason for that is they're just gonna put a lot of stress on the rod. Um, we get this question every now and again at the shop and it's true, I think a four weight could turn over 10 feet of T11, um, but it's a lot of stress on the rod um, and it's not quite the amount of weight that the line and the rod is designed to handle. So just stick into a kind of a general recommendation. If you're looking at your mo tips that you might already have for steelhead fishing, at least stay in the light series in that T8. Um, and I probably wouldn't do a section of, of mo that's longer than 10 feet on these rods. I just think you're going to get into an area where the rod's going to start to struggle under the weight. So as you can see, there's a wide variety of trout spay tips out there that we carry and that you can find out there. These are the ones that we really stand behind, the ones that we're mentioning in the video. Um, and I think they're really gonna give you a good level of performance on the rods and they're not gonna weigh them down too much. And that's kind of the key takeaway that I think about with trout spay tips is just don't want to have your nice, you know, fun, lightweight, two, three, four weight trout spay rod and, and go throw a 130 grain sink tip on there. It's just, um, it's a little outside of the box of what these rods are designed for. And, and they really respond well if you keep them inside the box. So I thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you all learned a little bit about trout spay sink tips.